Welcome to the Open Mind, Open Heart, Unlimited Potential Meditation with Ascended Master Sananda. Focus on your breathing now and allow this to slow down, become deeper. Drop deeper into yourself. Relax your thinking, relax your emotionality, your emotions. Come closer to your core. Focus on the threefold flame at the core of your heart center now the pink, the blue, the gold. And with that, expand it and your heart energy to six feet in all directions, forming a sphere of your own heart energy all around you. Connect this energy down to the core of Gaia, the core of Mother Earth, and receive from her the energy she wishes to offer you now. Breathe this combined energy up through your energy bodies, through your higher chakras to source, and then down to Gaia again, up to source, and you can go through the sun the central sun and the great central sun if you wish. Focusing on building a strong pillar, your unique energetic pillar, your unique energetic core signature. And drop deeper and deeper into yourself as we ask for the angels, the archangels, the ascended masters and the karmic board to merge deeply and fully with us now through all dimensions of our fields. We ask for our God Presences, our Guides, our Ascension Councils to work in harmonious group consciousness together so the highest of the highest of the highest will be shown here today for all of us in our here and now. We ask for a temple of Mother Gaia grounding to anchor and activate through all dimensions of our fields. We ask for a temple of divine union to anchor and activate through all dimensions of our fields. And finally calling on a God Presence communion temple to anchor and activate through all dimensions of our fields. Feel how these energetic fields with a unique signature connect with your unique signature through your pillar, around your pillar, connecting your inner and outer worlds. Keep breathing deeply up to source and down to Gaia, relaxing more and more as you feel how these frequencies, your support team in the temples have raised your frequency, opened up your field. As you place your attention, your consciousness, your awareness in the God Presence Communion Temple now a temple in your inner realm. Find a spot here in the concentric circles around the very large crystal, the crystalline consciousness at the core of the temple. This crystal will look and appear and show itself, reveal itself differently for each and every one of you. and will match exactly the frequency that you need today and that will match today's session with Ascended Master Sananda. Connect your 12 primary chakras to the crystal by sending your energy out through the front of the chakras and receive from the crystal. Send to the crystal and receive from the crystal in your own tempo. 
This allows you to anchor deeply here in the temple, connect to the frequency of the temple here in the inner realms. And it harmonizes your field, raises your frequency even further. Spend a little time doing this now, harmonizing here in the temple with the crystalline consciousness. And we are joined now by Ascended Master Sananda. He offers you a blessing, then asks to connect to each and every one of you. You will feel his energy connecting with yours now, here in the temple. Some of you will see him in the core of the temple, others right next to you, in front of you or behind you. Your spirit and Sananda's spirit and your support teams will know exactly what is in the highest for you to receive the highest possible gift from today's session, today's sharings, teachings, meditation, Sananda says. All of you, Sananda says, and he smiles, there are no exceptions, are moving through big initiations in your current earthly incarnation or other incarnations. The times are energetically charged. There is pressure on the timelines, pressure on your energy bodies all of your energy bodies, including your physical, emotional, mental and spiritual energy bodies, Sananda says. There is pressure on Mother Gaia's energy body as well. All of the energy bodies in the solar system, in the galaxy and in the universe. There is a lot changing and shifting. And this can create a high level of constant change in your field. And sometimes it is challenging to keep up, catch up. Remain on par with the energies. Sometimes the mind is lagging or the emotions are lagging or the physical body is lagging and this can lead to pains or disruptions, stagnations, worry, even fear, anger, grief, unclarity, feeling depressed energetics. And often not knowing what the future holds due to the thickness of the veils here. And so for today's session, the focus is simple in this complex energetic environment, he smiles. Open mind, open heart, unlimited potential. That is the state your presence wishes you to feel after this session, reopening your mind for most of you. Many of you have 
protective energetics around the mind because there are so many programs in the collective consciousness as well. And sometimes for sensitive high frequency beings there can be sensory overload. The same goes for your emotions, he says. The second part is open heart, keeping your heart open. to the input from your team, to receiving and giving love in a way that suits your mission, your spirit's guidance, and feeling the unlimited potential from the here and now moment of no time and no space, of creating whichever timeline is in the highest for your mission, taking into account the initiations you are choosing to move through, and so coming back to the simplicity of open mind, open heart, and unlimited potential, a representation held in this particular meditation through your brow, the open mind, your heart, the open heart, and your hara, unlimited potential, unlimited personal, spiritual power, creating the highest potential timelines in your existence at this stage. And knowing ahead now what is coming in this session allows you to relax deeply, he says. Feel this relaxing energy now as it pours in through your higher chakras, saturates your multidimensional field, and then pours down to the core of Gaia, taking with it any unwanted energies, energies you no longer need, any unwanted emotions, emotions you no longer need. Any programs and limiting beliefs you no longer need, let them flow down to the core of Gaia for transformation back to universal love and light energy, Sananda says. This session is simple, this session is powerful, Sananda says. The deeper you drop into it, the more benefit you will receive, not only during this session, but far beyond it if you choose to bring this simple technique, these simple techniques into your daily life. Feel the powerful and divine flow of energy through your higher chakras, all the way through your energy bodies, taking with it all debris, energetic fragmentation, and allow it to pass through you, surrender it up, down to the core of Gaia. Expand your 12 multidimensional primal chakras a little bit more now from your soul star through to your crown, your brow, your throat, thymus, heart, solar plexus, hara, sacral base, link, and down to the earth star chakra. Expand all of these chakras a little bit more, 25% more. Sananda asks, your spirit guides. and feel more of this divine essence, liquid light pouring through your field in the exact energetic recipe that your field needs. Sananda smiles. This mix is very different for each and every soul present here. Now, no time, no space, he says. 
Feel how your frequency is raising further and further. As you set the sandbags of your hot air balloon free, the emotional, mental, physical sandbags that were holding you down in frequency, in worry, overthinking, over sensitization in your current busy ever fluctuating and changing timelines there's a lot of friction in the current timelines as well because so much is changing so fast the old is holding on to the old and the new is finding a place to ground itself and as a prime creator you are finding your way between the old and the new remaining ever present in the here and now of your ever expanding timelines always reaching out to the manifestation of your highest possible timelines in accordance with your choices what you are ready for and the initiations you are also choosing to move through the lessons you are also choosing to learn Sananda states increasing the flow and power of the divine essence moving through your field now asking you to expand your 12 primary chakras yet again to 1.5 times the original size when you started today's session Sananda says for those of you experiencing any form of physical, emotional or mental discomfort surrender through this hand it over to him Sananda says or your support team or breathe it down to the core of Gaia breathing up and down your pillar as you hold all 12 chakras with your intention at this larger scale for those of you having trouble with this ask the crystal at the core of the temple to assist you you have established a strong connection in the beginning to your 12 primary chakras and the crystal can assist you now especially if there are a few chakras which find it hard to expand wider feel with sit with be with these 12 expanded chakras now be the observer and take note while being very relaxed and very present what does this do for your energy field and what do you notice for the flow of your energies Remain present and conscious, Sananda says. Many of you are wanting to drift off, rest a little, sleep a little. It is okay to rest, but remain present. 
remain aware of what is happening for your spirit is offering you powerful guidance not just energetically but also for your higher mind your heart and your hara to understand more about the potential you can very easily reach in your daily experience with a very short exercise that fits in perfectly well with setting up your daily energetic pillar an exercise sananda states which is highly advised to be part of each and every day often multiple times sananda says especially in these highly turbulent times keep your own river your own energetic signature flowing powerfully so you always know who you are where you are what your spirit and your teams are guiding you towards so you can be in your here and now while knowing what is coming and knowing what the next steps are in perfect balance with the masculine and the feminine the being and the doing the knowing the feeling the experiencing sitting in that balance point the still point within the storm around you your pillar and today's exercise can be a powerful supplementation to your pillar if you so choose open mind open heart unlimited potential breathe deeply up and down your pillar now holding your chakras at their current size And now for phase 1 you will be asked to expand your brow chakra to twice the size it originally was when you started here in the temple. So you're now at 1.5 go to twice the size just for your brow chakra now for phase 1. Your spirit will assist you. For most of you this will feel like a bit of a stretch. because it is not so much about expanding the chakra further outwardly which you are very used to but expanding the core of the chakra to a larger size allow your spirit to guide you now hold the intention and feel this stretch in your chakra and allow the flow of divine essence energy to move through with a more open mind energetically now for many of you your spirit and support teams will communicate answers and solutions to queries issues challenges you have been facing offer you pieces of your puzzle through symbols images words storylines remindings sound through the further opening and activation of the inner core of your brow chakra allow the energy to flow through from source all the way down to the core of gaia while holding your open mind
Keep breathing deeply up and down your pillar and be the witness to how this feels for your field, having all your chakras larger in size from the core and particularly your brow chakra even larger, two times its normal size. What does this do for you receiving the flow of divine essence, guidance from your spirit and your support team, Sananda says? Be mindful, for it will offer you clues as to how this simple yet effective exercise can assist you on a daily basis or as guided and needed. Keep allowing your spirit and your support teams to communicate powerfully to you now. So much of what you have been asking for through the mind, but allow it to come in now through your higher mind. And it may come in, in symbols and energetic packages that will be unpacked over the coming time in your linear timeline. Let go of any expectancy of immediate answers and solutions. Trust this process. However, that being said, many of you will receive deeper insights and keys and solutions that you can apply immediately after this session. Remain present. And keep receiving the divine essence from your spirit. Unified field. Holding deep gratitude for all you receive, Sananda states. This deep gratitude will allow even more energy to flow through to you in this exercise. And if you find it hard to hold this gratitude, simply do your best and make a note of looking into or receiving guidance on why this is challenging for you. There will be some energetic blocks for you to unblock at another stage in other ways so you can receive more from the field and hold a deeper level of gratitude, allowing you to receive more from the field. It is time to add phase two on to this exercise. Open heart, expand next to holding your brow chakra at twice the size. Expand your heart chakra to twice the size now, comparing it to the original as you came into the temple. Allow your spirit to assist you. You simply hold the intention. So you will now be receiving divine essence through 12 expanded chakras with a particular expansion of your brow and heart chakras. 
you will notice that the flow of information and guidance will change as your mind and your heart are both more expanded now, more open. Pay close attention, this will give you valuable insights into your inner being, how you receive and how you create. Your spirit and your teams are offering you many insights. You need but pay attention and trust. And for the few of you that feel fully blocked during this exercise, simply focus on to the best of your abilities, receiving divine essence and not getting caught up in the technicalities of the expansion of the chakras, but trusting that with your intention, your spirit and your support teams are creating this for you. You have been in a state of shutdown, potentially low energetic flow. And so simply receiving divine essence may be what is in the highest for you, but trust that the other is occurring as well. And let go again of any low level emotions, thoughts, beliefs, programs, hand them down to the core of Gaia. Heal yourself as these things come up during this session. Keep breathing deeply up to source and down to Gaia. As you receive guidance from your teams and spirit and can feel and witness what this add on exercise can potentially do for your pillar work. Again as guided, as often as you wish, and when you wish. For those of you posing the question why the other nine chakras need to be expanded as well, for it facilitates the energy to flow through most powerfully. For if only the brow and heart and later on hara were expanded, this would not allow for the most flow of energy through your system. So again, a first part of this exercise is setting up your pillar, then the expansion of all 12 chakras to an increase of about 50%. And then phase one of increasing the size of the brow and now the heart. And the hara, which will be phase three coming soon. Receive deeply now. Stay out of your lower mind. Remain present, consciously aware while relaxing deeply. Trust that all you are receiving is perfect for you, even if you don't feel you are receiving anything, even if all you see are some colors or feel some sensations of energy. Trust that you are receiving all you need to the highest potential as you surrender and relax. Starting on phase three now, expanding your hara, your belly button chakra, your power chakra to twice the original size as well. And again, witness and monitor what this does for your energetic flow. You will start to receive an entirely new feeling within your field. You will receive different informational flows through divine essence. 
different answers and keys, particularly in relation to your personal power as a creator, how you are creating, and how you can obtain even higher timelines in your earthly incarnation or other incarnation. Breathing up to Source and down to Gaia as you let this energy flow through powerfully now. Setting free anything you no longer need, any debris, any old programs, any old beliefs, any old thoughts. And feel the full power in this moment, in no time, no space, of your open mind, open heart, and your truly unlimited potential as a spirit in an earthly incarnation. You are so powerful with all the guidance you will ever need and all the sensory input you will need through your heart to feel your way through this intense realm that you are creating within. Keep breathing deeply up to source and down to Gaia. And be with this flow now. Many of you will experience different things now, different temperatures, different colors in your chakras. Perhaps the same color in these three larger chakras, perhaps gold or silver or platinum or diamond desk energies or flashing colors within these three chakras or all 12 chakras. For some of you, the crystal masters will come forth and change crystals at the core of your chakras or repair them or clean them. And many other versions allow your team to communicate clearly to you now. Be open to anything now as the energy flows powerfully into your creations, into your wants and your needs, spirit-based wants and needs matching your mission. And trust now as the energy flows powerfully. You are all doing very well. Some of you will have some dark black or dark gray energy flowing through your pillar. Allow this to flow through. This is a way for your spirit to move energies down to the core of Gaia for transformation due to the enlarged size of your chakras. It is a perfect way to move old energies out and raise your frequency further. Do not attach to these energies. Simply let them flow through. And now to seal this particular experience and these teachings into your multidimensional field, Sananda says he will flow a structuring blue light energy through your field, like a blueprint which will assist you to regain these expanded chakras much more easily next time. It is like a mold, a starting point that you can easily move towards in the next time you choose 
to receive, live, create through the open mind, open heart, unlimited potential technique as shown today, Sananda says. Receive this blueprint now, tailor-made to your experience in no time, no space, now. Many of you will feel this very powerfully in your field. And next time you wish to engage with this exercise, call on this blueprint, call in Sananda, he says, for assistance, if you so wish. He is very happy to assist. This blueprint will be stored for you now in your multidimensional field, by your spirit, accessible whenever you call for it. And you will keep building forth upon this if you so choose. Now breathe up and down your pillar three times and very gently intend for your chakras to all become their regular size again. A size that is very comfortable for you, that you are very familiar with. And as this occurs, the divine essence energy gently flows through your field, softly and gently. And this process starts to be sealed up. As we ask for all this energy work to be sealed and to integrate with grace, ease, love, light and empowerment. We thank Sananda, our support teams, the temple, Mother Gaia, so deeply. We send all this energy down to the core of Gaia, accessible for all who are ready. Sananda blesses you and again offers to assist you whenever you need. You need but call for him out of your free will. And now come fully, fully, fully back into your here and now with all of your consciousness, awareness, attention. You will feel very different in your energy bodies expanded and contracted all at the same time. A very unique exercise for you to keep building upon, Sananda says. Breathe deeply up to Source and down to Gaia now. As again, we ask for all this energy work to be sealed and to integrate with grace, ease, love, light and empowerment. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So be it. So be it. So be it is done. So, so many blessings on your journey of creation. <laughs>